Coach Career from General Gridiron. Today's topic will be variations of inside run in today's U football game. The first, we're gonna draw everything up against the odd structure today. We're gonna to draw it up against a 3-5-3 or 5-3, whatever you wanna call it. Bottom line is there's gonna be two parts to this video. The first part today, we're gonna to talk about the three different variations. We have an inside run against a 5-3 defense. The first formation I'm gonna show you is gonna be the, a pro style ISO type play. The second, will be an inside zone, one back pro style play. The third is kind of a bonus because it's from my personal system, the hybrid wing, which is our belly play, which consists of elements of both ISO and inside zone, inside zone, how I kind of infuse both of them into our style of play. So let's just get right into it and start with the pro style ISO type play. The pro style ISO type play is a big on big type play. It's uh, I believe big on big in my world falls under a gap scheme category because it's not an option running play where we're kind of going to try to cut the defense off from the backside and isolate the front side linebacker to create an avenue right over the guard type area. The inside zone play where it varies from the ISO play is a option running play where we're trying to knock the defenders over the hole and into the linebackers and cut the defense off towards the play side so we could have some bend back ability or we could bang it in the avenue, or we could even bounce it, depending on what the reactions of the defenders are doing. So this is a predetermined run play. This is an option style run play. The third, our belly play, and my version of the hybrid wing, gets a little bit of both concepts, where yes, we have a predetermined running area, but this play has the ability to hit the area where we're setting up the block, or we could bend it all the way back behind the tight end. So let me get into the, the, the first scheme with the up front stuff. Starting with the left tackle. The left tackle will get his head inside the four technique, defensive tackle, and keep him away from the play side of the play. The left guard will pop his feet in place because he has no immediate threat over him. And the guy to his inside gap is getting taken care of a double team with the center and front side guard. He will pop his feet in place and look for work. What I mean, he will just take a pop step in place. If there's no immediate threat, He's just gonna hold his area so we get no defenders crossing his face to affect our play on the play side. The center and right guard will, will double team, we could consider it an ace double team to the Mike linebacker. We wanna move this down lineman directly into the lap of the Mike. So these two will take care of these two. The play side linebacker is getting taken care of by the fullback who will take an inside out path and do not, it will not let this play side linebacker cross his face to the inside. He will meet him, hit him square, and try to keep his butt to the hole. Right tackle will get his head inside this defensive tackle and turn him out. Same for the tight end. They will take an inside lead step with their inside foot and turn him out. Lock on and turn him out. The running back is gonna chase the leg of the inside guard trying to hug that double team, bang the ball into the A-gap. We want to stuff this ball in the A-gap and make our move at the second level. This is one cut running here on the uh, ISO play. He's either going to bang the ball or probably bend it back. The blocking is not going to allow you to bounce it outside. So I would just tell him, if you're going to make one cut, make one cut towards the backside because we, we should have the backside cut off with the style of blocking we're using on the isolation play. Inside zone is a much different theory for the running back. Let's start with the up front stuff first. Left tackle is gonna drive block this defensive end up the field. Do not let him cross your face by any means. The left guard and center are gonna work a combination of the tackle and Mike. So the left guard and center are responsible for these two guys in this cylinder here. The right guard and right tackle are responsible for these two guys in this cylinder. So we got four for four in that situation. The tight end should get his head in the hole and drive that Sam out of there. Where on the isolation, we're trying to cut the defense off, off from the backside. On the zone play, we're trying to knock the defenders over the hole. We're trying to get some kind of vertical distortment. For the running back, it's a much different style of running play than the isolation play, like I said before. Here, we are gonna chase the inside leg of the tackle and we are reading the first defender to the play side. 
which is the defensive tackle. If the defensive tackle strikes inside, he should bang the ball up over into the C-gap. If the defender spikes into the C-gap, he should start bending the ball towards the backside. If he starts seeing fuzzy vision from linebackers interfering, he has to be able to read what's coming and bang the ball all the way to the backside. I mean, bend the ball all the way to the backside. On our belly play, we kind of take a little bit from both these concepts and infuse it into our hybrid wing. On the hybrid wing, the running back is going to read the butt of this tackle. That is his aiming point. If this defensive end spikes to the inside, he's going to bang the ball right over the, the into the B gap. I mean, into the C gap. If he spikes outside, he's going to bang the ball into the B gap. We're going to get a double team with the left guard at center straight to the mic. Right guard, same as the isolation plays left, left guard. He's going to pop his feet in play, stay square, look for work. Nothing violates his A gap or B gap. The right tackle, defensive end, will get his head inside and fan him out. Same thing with the tight end. Here, we have the defense cut off from here to the play side. This guy can be a free runner, but if he runs over the top, that will leave a big area vacant for a bend back. Our backside wing, our Z, will insert and take care of this play side linebacker. So now we have this area of the field cut off because this will has to be responsible for the option fake of the quarterback after the disconnect with the fullback with the wing coming. So he has to be pitch responsible, so we're not worried about him. The running back will roll step and read the tackle. If he gets a very fuzzy vision here, this play can hit anywhere from here to here to here to here to here, all the way back behind that tight end. It doesn't happen often, but you have that ability by the way we block the front. So. Quickly, this was just a part one to variations in the inside run against odd structures. I hope you guys got something you could pick up from this. Until the next time, Coach Career.